Welcome everyone. How's everybody doing tonight? And I'm just checking out my thing here. It looks like I'm, I have like a bad connection, which kind of sucks. Hopefully it'll get better. Not really sure what's happening. Uh, not a good way to start the stream, but anyway, no worries. Um, just go with the flow here. See what happens. Going to get my drawing practice in for the day. How's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully the quality of the stream will improve here. They're doing some... Uh, Oh, now I'm at zero. Okay. So the, the, uh, uh, what am I going to, what am I trying to say? Comcast actually is doing some work on this Friday at my apartment complex. And I'm not going to have any internet for Friday. I'm not going to have internet the whole day. So apparently they're like updating something on Friday. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe that means things will get better here for my internet on out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Poker face, what's going on? Matias, Cynthia, Zeralda, Sanaz. Hopefully I said you guys' name correctly. I apologize if not. Thanks for tuning in. So uh, yeah, anyway, uh, let's get started with the drawing. I mean, we got plenty of people here. Let me move my microphone out the way here. We got cords and stuff. Okay. Yeah, it looks like my connection is really fluctuating. I should have checked that before I went live, but uh, what to do? What to do? It's, it's weird, like my internet's fine all day long doing work and everything, and then as soon as I, in the evening, it just starts going up and down, I don't know. Yeah, let's have hope. Anyway, it seems like you guys can hear me and everything's going well, so it seems like it's okay for the most part. Uh, I mean, there's nothing I can do to fix it right now, so it looks like I'm... My connection says I keep dropping frames and stuff, which means the quality is going to be a bit lower, so I don't know. What's up, Braille? I'm doing all right. How are you? 66 lane, what's happening? Says good so far. Okay. I mean, I'll just, I'll keep going. I don't know. My, uh, my program here is telling me it's not doing that great, but, uh, what to do. Let me, uh, focus my camera here. Boom. There we go. Should be good. Let's see where am I at here? Boom. Right there. Zooming out a little bit. So I was thinking today, I'm going to do a five minute sketches just to, um, I don't know, why not? Just to give it a little time limit, make it a little more interesting. I don't know how to put this in here. So that's what I'm going to start with today. we will just do like five minute sketches. So, uh, <laughs> just move slow. Yeah, exactly. I'll just move really slow and I'll match the uh, terrible internet connection that I have. So if you guys are ready, uh, here we go. Um, I don't know if I'm ready, to be honest. Uh, let, me, let me get set up here. Take this jacket off, man. It's hard to draw with a jacket on, you know, but it's cold, man. Can't stand winter. Okay, how's everybody's week going? It's Wednesday. We made it through half the week. A couple more days left. Feels good. Okay. Pencil sharp. Everything's ready. Okay. Cat fur everywhere. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Put this off to the side and uh, yeah. I'm just going to get warmed up here. See what I can do here with this. Boom. 
my bad. Let me zoom it in a little bit for you guys. Just kind of figure out how big am I going to draw first and then I'll readjust, you know, just got to get warmed up here. Just got to get warmed up. Wow, that's terrible, Poker Face. That doesn't sound fun at all. Slipping on ice almost and falling. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous. Luckily, uh, oh man, already three minutes left. I am not doing that great. Okay. Luckily, uh, I don't live anywhere that cold, but it's cold enough, you know? But I, I can't really complain that much, to be honest. Could be way worse, you know? It's just one of those things. I mean, I can't, I can't really complain living in Northern California. It's like, it, it rains here. It's been cloudy for a few days. It's getting cold, but it's Northern California. I mean, it's not that bad, but I still like to complain about it because I just can't stand the cold. I am not a fan of the cold. I don't want the cold. I just want summer forever, pretty much. Which isn't very realistic, but I can dream, right? Trying to stay focused here. This is a little warm up. This is a little warm up sketch. I thought five minutes would be plenty of time, but uh, it's like going by really quickly. Much quicker than I anticipated, to be honest. Because I did those two minute sketches last week. And I was like, okay, I could do like five minutes. That'd be like, no, that'd be no problem. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm struggling here. But maybe I just need to get warmed up a bit. Warmed up, ha ha, see what I did there? Twenty seconds left, dang, this is not good. All right, I might have to, I have to take an additional two minutes or something. I was hoping I could get more finished looking sketch in five minutes. And maybe I will later. What the heck? <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's good. You know how to fall. Perfect. Yeah, it's been cold in the south. I heard about that. Cold in the south, 16 degrees last night. Yeah, that's not fun. Will this be safe for later? Yeah, you can you can watch the streams later on for sure. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, I don't like cold either, that's for sure.
yeah, if you just go on my channel and you click live, there's a little tab for live. You can watch the live streams later. And you should be able to, if you wait a couple hours, usually it takes, I don't know what's up with YouTube, it usually takes like a day, but you can also see the chat as well. So they, they record the chat. So you guys better watch out what you say. Everybody's going to be able to read it forever. I'm just kidding, but... Well, I don't know, man. Maybe I'll come back to this sketch. I'm not really uh, that thrilled about this one, to be honest. I like the look in his eyes and everything. I think I got the angle off here. Really got the angle off. I'm going to have to... Uh, I don't really know. I was hoping... I could do a bit more than that in five minutes, so... I wasn't able to get any, like, form down that I wanted. So I've, I've quite overestimated my abilities, it seems. But I am just going to touch this one up a bit here and there. Because who knows, maybe those small little things will bring it home. Bring it together just a bit. But yeah, the face is definitely a little rough. I'm going to come back to this one. Let's just leave it for now. Let's try another one. Let's just keep going. Let's keep marching on here. I'll stick to what I said. Five minute sketches. That's what I'm going to do. Five minute and one second. <laughs> okay. Okay. Brad, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in. Curtis, what's going on? Romero, what's happening? Oh, that's a bummer, Romero. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, issues, life issues like that definitely suck. I think I, I need something easy to start out with here. I need some, I need an easy win. Something like without a face, maybe. That's kind of funny. Like this would be an easy win in five minutes. I really like this one. It has like a lot of form, a lot of like twisting and turning and stuff. Kind of cool. Let's try this one, folks. Yeah, I understand that. You can't art when you're stressed. Man, I feel that way if, if like my apartment's too cluttered. It's like... It's so hard for me to focus and like do work. So I, I know how that is. I can't imagine like having a plumbing issue on top of all the normal stuff. Hope you can get it resolved. That's for sure. I've been doing live, Curtis. I've been doing a lot of live. I've been doing like three a week. I started last week. I've been I did like three or four last week. I've been live uh, a lot. I'm going to try to keep going. All right, let's try this one. Three, two, one, go. Boom. Let's see what I can do here. Let's try to... I think maybe if I sketch more like this. Try to build it with simple shapes, maybe. Starting out. Maybe this will be a better way to get some lines down quickly. So there we kind of have the structure of him already there. And now I can focus a little more on the line work that I kind of would like to do. So maybe this is the way to do like a quick five minute more finished sketch that I'm aiming to do. Well, I'm surprised, uh, I'm surprised we don't have more perfectionists on the poll here. Everybody's saying, a lot of people are saying, I mean, we have majority people consider them per themselves perfectionists. So it seems like we do have a problem. A lot of perfectionists here.
I don't really know if I am. I think I am. I, I kind of have perfectionist tendencies. But I, I've been trying so hard to get away from it over the years. And that's one reason why I like doing these quick sketches and stuff. It, it kind of pushes me to get away from it, you know? I'm really liking this one, actually. I gotta, I gotta start off my sketches like this more often. Okay, about halfway it looks like. Yeah, it depends on what I'm doing too. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have a, you gotta have a neat space. Uh, I get my images right now from Pinterest currently, most of them. Sometimes I'll go on like unsplash.com, Pixabay, stuff like that. Those are free photos. But recently I've been stealing from Pinterest because they just have so much on there and it's so easy to search. And it's like, they have less like, um, less polished type photos, I guess, more everyday type photos that I'm kind of like, that I like. Unsplash and stuff, those are more like photography, photographers post on there, you know? So you don't get as, you don't get as like candid type of cat photos and stuff on there, or animal photos in general. But Pinterest just has like a ton of stuff. Yeah, this one's great. I really like this sketch actually. This is coming out really well. This is kind of what I was going for. So I was going for last time with that. Every time there's a face there, it just throws me off, man. I, <laughs> I really got to practice the faces more. But I think maybe the way I started the sketch was a little bit weird too, so. I'm still trying to figure out different kinds of processes for different things, you know, so. I feel like there's kind of a time and place for everything for the most part, you know, it's like some sketches need to start out this way, more loose. Other sketches I can just go straight in with the line work. It's just everything is, it's, it's a very intuitive process for me, how I do things. I mean, I think I'll call this one done. I mean, I'm pretty, I don't want to like overdo it. I think it's. Pretty good, to be honest. For what it is, five minutes sketch. Nice. There we go. Boom. All right. If I could do like, if I could do about 10 more of these tonight, then I'll be happy, man. I'll be happy. Great Eagle. What's happening? Got a lot of people. It's active tonight. The other night it wasn't too active, but it's all good. Tina, what's happening? I can't even keep up with you guys, man. Got a lot going on here. Uh, John, what's hello? Just trying to catch up on, if I missed any question or anything, just post it again, folks. Susan, what's happening? Thank you. Shane asked, do you ever do longer drawing stuff that takes hours, has lots of shading? Uh, currently not right now. Um, I'm not really interested in that stuff. I did like years and years ago. Um, I did some stuff like that, but... I don't know. I just, I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm just not interested at this moment in time. And I'm, I'm not interested in like shading with graphite that much. I like using, if I'm going to really shade and get contrast and stuff, I'd rather use pen and ink. 
what's the date today? 17th. So if I'm like shading something and I want to get more light and dark and stuff, I'll do like pen and ink, which eventually on these streams, actually pretty soon here, I might try doing some pen sketches and stuff. So I might get into that soon. We'll see. But uh, I'm just all over the place, man. I'm doing a lot of different stuff. But for now, I'm kind of just, I'm in a sketching world. Romare. Thank you, bro, for the $10. Greatly appreciated. He says, thanks for helping me de-stress. I'm glad I could help you de-stress, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, you're the best. I really hope you can get your plumbing issue fixed. That's a really bummer, man. Yeah, but, um, yeah, we'll try to keep this stream going, man. Thanks for supporting the stream and for, uh, posting on the discord and everything. It's, it's been fun, man. I'm, I'm trying to, uh, stay active on the discord as well. I've been busy the last few days, but I try to post on there every once in a while, every, uh, day or once a day I get on there twice a day, something. Let me see here, but, uh, yeah, thank you for the donation. Greatly appreciate it. Cubs win. What's happening? Okay. She asks, uh, do you have advice on cross hatching? Okay. Well, um, are you talking with pencil or are you talking with pen and ink or either of them or anything? I mean, I'm not an expert on, on cross hatching. I'll, let me say that. Um, my knowledge is quite limited. So if anybody has any other knowledge on cross hatching, be sure, don't be shy to post it. I really want to draw this fat cat, but I don't know if I'm ready yet. <laughs> I think I might draw something like this first. I really like this angle. It's so cool. A lot of foreshortening here with the uh, tail. So let me get back. To, okay, both cross hatching. Okay, cross hatching. Um. Let me get a sheet of paper here. Yeah, let me get a sheet of paper here. So, I haven't done much practice with cross hatching. Let me let me see what I can. I mean, obviously, there's different ways. I've I've seen artists do really good cross hatching, but it's like it's so um, you have to be so careful to do it, you know, especially with pen and ink and stuff. The way they do it. You know, it's like the way they, um, like you have to be very, I mean, it depends on your style too, right? I'm kind of doing this really small. I can't really zoom in anymore, but I've seen artists do like, and see, I'm kind of even doing this wrong. Uh, not wrong, but I guess if like this was the edge of an object or something, be going out like this. See, I don't know if if you do 90 degree cross hatching, I don't know if that's uh if that's like the standard cross hatching that actually artists do, but then I know you can you can go diagonally as well. See, what I would do in this situation... Now, obviously, this is all one shade, so it's, like, not really showing a distinct shading pattern or anything. But I've seen good artists do it. I'm not really that good at crosshatch, to be honest. I don't really like crosshatching. I, like, just... I just do one way, like this, and I do it very messy. But I know, you know, the more you space it out, you start spacing it... Or if you do them close together and then larger and larger, less and less, you're going to create different kinds of values, right? But see, mine's like messy. It's not that good. I don't really know. I'm not good at cross hatching, to be honest. What I would do, uh, Matias says, I think diagonal one feels more natural for organic stuff. Yeah, probably, to be honest. This one, See, what I would do, to be honest, I would go on like something like Pinterest and I would look up like cross hatching and see how other artists that are actually like really good at cross hatching. It's not something I've practiced a lot, so I have no 
and it's not something I'm like super interested in with my art in particular. Let me see here for a second. If we go to, let me open up Pinterest real quick. Cause I, I can, I can think of art I've seen that's like really good with cross hatching and stuff. I don't know if I saved any on my uh, pen and ink boards here. Give me one second. I can share with you guys here. Uh, where's my pen and ink board? Pen and ink inspiration. Let me see if I have any. I don't know if I do. Okay, here's a little bit. Let's look at this. Here's a little bit. I can't, can't really zoom it in. See, so this is like more hatching in one way, one direction, kind of going with the form, but then they, they cross diagonally hatched uh, in different, all kinds of different ways. But this just looks like straight up and down and then diagonal, kind of like what I was doing, but obviously way better <laughs> and more graphic it's almost like comic book type of look which is really cool i mean that's why i saved this i like the i like the simplification of this i wish i could get this kind of look in my art you know so there's there's stuff like that out there that you can find um i saved a lot of that kind of stuff like hatching see this is almost like just hatching not even really cross hatching but yeah i would i would try to i would try to do some research See, this one has a little bit, but, you know, a little diagonal there and it gets darker and darker, smaller and smaller as it goes up. And then on the fingers as well. But see, I, I like a more sketchier look. So it kind of depends on what you're going for, you know, and like what you, um, yeah, no problem. I mean, if I don't know some, I'm not going to act like I know it. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, I'm, I'm not a pro at like everything. Like, yeah, I can do cross hatching and all stuff. It's something that I would have to practice, to be honest. Um, it's something I would really have to practice because I just, I don't have that kind of practice. I've been doing painting for many years and that's kind of my main thing. And I've just recently got into back into sketching and drawing a lot. So there's a lot of stuff that I haven't, really delve into to be like a pro at you know what i mean unfortunately but you know it's it's a yeah like Ro, like romare said you know like old master drawings and stuff there's some that are like really good that are very uh methodical and like it, like crazy <laughs> and it's like i don't have the patience for that you know uh, and I think that's what it comes down to for me is like, it's just my patience level and my temperament, I guess, is what you could call it. It's like, I'm, I just don't want to do that. But um, yeah, I would try to, like, if I try to learn something like that, I would just like uh, do some research, like see what other artists, what they've achieved, and then just look at a bunch of stuff and go, okay, I kind of like a sketchier look or I like a more cleaner look and try to mimic what they did and that's that's pretty much what i try to do with my stuff it's like i like a more sketchier look and then i just draw a lot you know um there's times where like i look at a lot of inspiration and then i'll just put all the inspiration aside and then just draw the way i draw and see what happens you know but um yeah david finch that's a good one john yeah he's like a He's pretty good with like comic type of stuff. So he he's really good with like that kind of hatching and cross hatching and stuff. That's really good. That's true. He's good with like figures and perspective and all that kind of stuff. I've seen some of his stuff many years ago. So yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps Cubs win. A lot of people posted some stuff too in the chat, so... Fastest easy way to draw a cat to save up some time? Uh I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm I'm drawing cats here in five minutes, so I did some in two minutes the other day. I did some two minute sketches. You can go check those out. But uh 
I'm trying to figure that out myself. What's the fastest and best way to do this? I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to figure this stuff out myself. All right, let's do this one. Here's the, uh, here's what I'm gonna do now. Look at that foreshorting on the tail. It's coming towards us. Pretty cool. Let's see what I can do in five minutes. Three, two, one, go. Boom. Okay. Just need to get the shape down in there. Okay. Get that shape and we can add other shapes here. Oh no, I didn't leave room for the tail. What am I doing? <laughs> oh well, that tail is going to go off the page. Oops. Didn't leave room for that one. That's okay. It looks cool though. Sometimes that's how it goes. Okay, just trying to stay focused here, folks. Hope you don't mind my silence. Yeah, I have to, I need to practice a lot drawing these cat faces, like simple cat faces like this. Because I need to figure out what is like the most simple, what's the most necessary things for a cat face? Like the, like what can I do to make it as simple as possible? What lines do I need? I've kind of figured that out for humans for the most part, but it's like I, I haven't exactly figured it out for cats, but I'm, I'm getting close, I think. Maybe his eyes are a little too far apart. I don't know. minute left okay gotta try to clean this up here in one minute
Not bad. Well, not bad. I need to fix this real quick. That's the side of his face. It's cheating, but I'm the one who came up with the challenge anyway, so I can make the rules. <laughs> there we go. Not bad. Good enough, I think. Yeah. What to do? It's a good effort. They can't all be great, you know? Some of them, most of them are going to be mediocre. Only some of them will be like magical. Like this one, I get so lucky sometimes. Like the first ones I do are like so good. And then when I try to do the same thing, it's like, it's eh, missing something, you know, but I tried. That's all I can say. I tried and it's better than not trying. What's the longest you've worked on a drawing? Oh, that would have been many years ago, to be honest. I don't know. Probably. Mm, <laughs> I See, if I work on it for very long, I don't really time it. I mean, there's been drawings where when I was in college, I took like probably like 10 hours on or something, but I haven't worked. Uh, to be honest, I haven't worked like so long on a drawing, but that's probably my limit. It's probably like four or five hours, four hours, four to five hours is like enough for me. It's like my limit. I think it's pretty much my limit four to five hours after that. It's like, just finish it, man. And those were probably like, you know, 18 by 24 or something. Yeah, be sure to hit the like button too, folks. Uh, if you like the streams and everything, really would appreciate supporting the stream. Hit the like button. Greatly appreciated. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Sorry to hear that, Red Queen, but I know how that is for sure. No worries, Curtis. Glad you like the streams. And you guys posting a lot of stuff. I'm trying to keep up, but, uh, all right, let's see. What do we do next? Do we do a sleeping cat? That would be easy. Uh, what kind of cat do we do next here? We do a fat fluffier cat. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cute. If I did this one, let's try a fluffier one like this, maybe. Or do I do the big fluffy one? I want to save him for a bit. I want to warm up for a bit first here. Let's do this fluffy little kitten here. I like it. You would love to see a four hour piece from me. I mean, uh, it'd have to be like, it'd have to be a little bit bigger. I mean, you want to, you want to see me like shaded and everything. I mean, I can show you some that I've drawn. I actually, I have, I have my, um, if you guys want to see some of my portfolio, I have, uh, I think it's in my closet. I have a bigger portfolio with like bigger drawings. I think I have my cat drawing in there. I took like three or four hours on that, that I shaded and stuff. I could show you guys some of the stuff I've taken a little more time on from a few years ago. Uh, if you guys want to see that, anybody interested, but, um, 
Cubs Wynn says, if not cross-hatching, how to best fill in a large object? Well, it depends on, I mean, how large, how large is large, I guess. And, and what do you, I, I would need more info there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you could, you can use, you could use blending stumps. You could use like a paper towel with like graphite powder. There's like, there's other ways to like shade in large areas. Um, you could just take a pencil like this and just rub it in, you know, very lightly. You can go take your time and do little by little, do, 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 do like really small. Um, so yeah, I, I was, I was thinking, um, I was thinking, um, see you, Tina. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to keep up with all the messages. There's a lot of messages going on. Uh, where was I at? Uh, I was thinking of on some of these streams of maybe doing like a more realistic piece, like drawing a realistic cat and taking like two hours, three hours on just one cat face. I was just thinking about that today. All right, before I do this one, let me show you guys, let me show you guys what I'm, what I, since you guys want to see it here, I'll leave it on, we'll leave it on some good sketches for now. Let me uh, grab my portfolio. It'll take me about 10 seconds here. I will be right back. Drew Ram during the live stream about a year or two ago. It was two hours long. Yeah, there you go. Okay, hold on. Sorry, folks. Hold on one second. I think it was in my closet, but now I'm like, where's the, uh, I got it. It's, I have no light in there, so I got to use this flashlight. I'll be right back real quick. Sorry about that, folks. In the depths of my cluttered, filled closet. I could have taken you guys with me, actually. I have my... I can use my cell phone as a webcam now. Should have done that. That would have been cool. But uh, here we go. I'll show you guys some stuff. Some bigger stuff. So this is like charcoal. I'm not saying this one took a while, but I'll just show you guys. I'll just take you guys through it. But... uh. I don't know how to show it. Okay. Yeah. So this is, this is from a few years ago. This is charcoal drawing. I mean, it's almost like a life-size portrait, pretty much. Sorry about the glare. But, uh, so that one's just charcoal. I just kind of smeared it around and stuff. I wish you guys could see more detail. Let me see if I can, uh, let's see if I can throw it up here like this. Give me a second here. Yeah. So, I mean... Oh, I can just put it on my desk. Here we go. I can zoom out my camera. So there we go, that one. So that one's more subtle shading, charcoal. Uh, that one's, this is a little more, a little more detailed. Uh, I was trying to do like a Barg study or whatever. So I got some of those in here. This one, not really that good. I don't like this one. Let's not look at that one. Okay, here we go. We got some Barg studies. So these are like graphite. These took me a long time. I mean, this is probably like five, four or five hours, maybe longer. So yeah, this is, these are ones that took me a lot longer and I took my time sitting there really small, really subtle. Same with this one. I think this one's even better, to be honest. 
So this one, I, you know, you can see, see the subtleties and stuff. I mean, this one, yeah, this one, I probably took just blocking it in, like just drawing the outline and blocking it in took me about an hour. So I spent like a ton of time on this one. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. So, I mean, I hope you guys can see, like, I can do this stuff. I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> I just don't enjoy it. You know what I mean? Um, this was a, this was a failed self portrait that I did a few years ago. And then this was me trying to do it again. It ended up being a little bit smaller, but I just got impatient with the shading, you know, and I didn't do it as cleanly. But I filmed this whole process and stuff. I have the video of it. Uh, I never put it out, really, though. I should probably add that to my course or something. Okay, here's my cat. This is one of my favorite graphite drawings I've done. This one's of my cat. This one probably took me about four hours. Graphite drawing. But there's probably more I could have added here, to be honest. There's probably more I could have, you know, looking at it now, I could I could really make this better and more detailed and more dark and stuff. I just get so impatient, you know, I don't I kind of said what I wanted to say with this one and then I just like okay. Like it's enough. <laughs> you know. To me it's like I don't want it I'm not really interested in being like super duper realistic because it's like Yeah, here's another failed attempt at that self-portrait. But this is a way you could get in, this is a way you could block in really large stuff here, uh, Cubs win, if you're still there. You know, you can just kind of like scribble, cross hatching type scribbling and stuff and then and then softening it. Um, you know, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. These were, this is like just a sketch. I did some, a lot of big portraits and just sketching them. I didn't really shade them. Uh, this is one I was uh, experimenting with graphite powder. So I was using graphite powder and then like smearing it around with like a paper towel and like uh, paintbrushes and stuff. Kind of got this mysterious look. He was supposed to be wearing a hat, but I, I kind of never finished it. I kind of just focused more on the face features and I was like, all right, I'm tired of this one. And then see, this is where I was just doing more subtle sketching, not a lot of contrast or shading or anything. Um, that's just a practice. There's a little sphere that I'm really proud of. I like that. Really nice. And then the value scale stuff. Really smooth. Oh, pretty cool. And then this is just like sketching, like practicing block-ins. So just the block-in stage, I just did a lot of practicing of that. Like a lot, just blocking stuff in using straight lines. So I did a ton of practice with that. Um, yeah, another little portrait I did. landscape I did a few years ago. This was a, uh, this was some marker drawing that I, <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind seeing all this nonsense. This was a marker. I started experiments with like markers and stuff. And this was my old apartment. I just kind of drew it from sitting in my apartment. And I was just like playing around with these markers and stuff. Stuff I never really, uh, yeah, I'm not really good with, to be honest. Yeah, just some drawings and stuff. Oh, this is old. <laughs> wow, I forgot I had this. Check this out, guys. So this is old um, charcoal self-portrait when I was in college. 
that I made. This is one of my first watercolor paintings uh, from like 2000. Uh, I don't have the year on here. This was like 2010, maybe 2009 watercolor painting when I didn't really know how to paint with watercolors, but still one of my favorites. Forgot I had that. Wow. Yeah, I kind of just put all the big stuff in here. I had this portfolio, so I just put all the big stuff that I created over the years, like big drawings and stuff. We're almost to the end here, folks. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much the end. This is like graphic design work that I've done. I guess I could show you guys. And this was me planning for... Um, I was trying to plan out like what I want the signs in the hospital that I work for. Um, that I do graphic design for. I was trying to plan out, like, if you order new signs to put on the, you know, what I want them to look like and, and like, to match the, um, the branding that I created and stuff. We never ended up doing this, <laughs> of course. I was trying to plan out, like, what the hallways might look like if we put new lighting in, um, just using markers and stuff, just having fun. We never ended up doing any of this stuff, but... Uh, and then this is, um, yeah, this is some graphic design work I've done, like logo and flyers, uh, photography. This is a, a two page ad in a magazine, national magazine. Can't even see that. Yeah. This is like a two page ad. This is like flyer I've done with logo stuff. This is like what I do for my day job. This is pretty much it. So this is a logo that I created. It's a pretty intricate logo, but it's for like a triathlon. And they they made like a um a finisher medal that looks like that that people win, and it's really cool. It just looks really cool. But uh they do that every year, and I still update it every year and do all that stuff. All the design work for that every year in Sacramento. In July. And then this is like just a ton of advertisements that I've done over the years. Two page ads that we used to run. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's all. So yeah, I mean, I haven't done a lot of like really long drawings and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, there you go. There's some of the graphite and stuff that I've done. So these are probably my favorite, especially this one, this Barg. These are probably my favorite ones, to be honest. Um, I just like lighter stuff like this and more subtle. Um, you know, that's cool too, but it's just so messy. It's already smearing inside of the thing and smudging everywhere. You guys can see it's already like smudging and stuff. I don't like using those sprays and everything. So it's just a mess. And that's one reason, that's one reason why I like using pen and ink because you don't have to worry about all the smearing and smudging and stuff. I, you know, I'm a, I'm a weirdo, man. Cause I, I just, um, yeah. Hope you guys liked that. Uh, there you go. Duke city. Hope you enjoyed that little intermission there showing you, uh, some of my work from the past. I mean, I, there's other drawings and stuff I probably done, but you know, I just either, I don't know where I put them or I got rid of, rid of them over the years. So, you know, I, I tried to keep everything, but the, I've gotten rid of so many paintings, just throwing them in the garbage. <laughs> like I've gotten rid of just stacks and stacks and stacks of paintings, acrylic paintings from many years ago, oil paintings, just, just even some of my best paintings that were like big in the corner and stuff like, I just realized like, all right, I just want to free myself from these large paintings and like try to not be attached to stuff. And I just throw it away because I'm like, I can't sell this stuff. It's not I'm never going to sell. So I just throw it away. You know, it's like whatever. But um, anyway, that's it, folks. That's it. So, yeah, I was saying earlier, I'm like a weirdo because I just want the simplest stuff like watercolor. It's so simple because you can just re-wet the palette. The the paints eat like it's it's so easy to clean up. You don't even have to clean anything. You can leave the palette dirty, everything. The brushes are easy to clean with water. It's so simple, right? And like 
graphite sketching like this in a in a sketchbook stuff doesn't really smudge doesn't smear i don't have to worry about stuff like i don't have to worry about anything you know it's just simple easy simple and all you need is a pencil and an eraser it's like i'm very minimalist with my setup and stuff and maybe one day when i get more settled in to where i actually want to be in my life and where i'm going to live um you know i got some a lot of plans in the future of what i'm going to be doing that are very different from where i am right now but maybe once i get more settled in somewhere and have a house and all that stuff eventually maybe i'll get back into oil painting i'll get back into um that kind of stuff but still like more in a simple way but for now you know this is this is me, this is my art, this is my life. It's just simple, minimal, basic, and I just like to have fun, you know? And I think so many people forget about having fun with art, and I kind of just, I think that's one of my main messages. Like, I just want to bring fun back, you know? Remind people, like, have fun with this stuff. Because that's, like, you should enjoy what you're doing, whatever it is, you know? And as long as you're enjoying it, then, boom, that's what it is you know so anyway sorry if i missed some of your comments there folks i was just i was in like showing mode right now <laughs> thank you cubs win for your comment earlier i see that you said i'm a phenomenal artist with all this other stuff thank you very much greatly appreciate that kind words Yeah. So anyway, if, the, if you guys said anything I missed, just post it again. I'll try to see it. But anyway, let's get into this uh, kit in here. So this is what I'm going to draw right now. Let's do it. Let's get back on track. Here we go. Okay. Three. Three, two, one. Oh, this is going to be a big fat cap. Oh yeah, this is going to be a big fat buddy here. I mean, I didn't even show you guys the stack of uh, oil paintings I still have, the watercolor paintings I still have. So much art in my closet. And I've gotten rid of so much. I have a stack of sketchbooks too, of old sketchbooks, old drawings. Not too much of that. but I do have a lot of, uh, I've kind of gotten rid of the oil paintings a lot. But I do have a lot of watercolor paintings and stuff that I'm going to keep. Let's see, this bar should be closer. <clears throat> okay, I should probably work on the face. <laughs> I'm like, I'm. See, I get. It's so easy for me to get caught up in in stupid. I mean, not stupid, but just details. Like, oh, look at his paw. Like, yeah, how about the uh, head? How about the face? You know, what's the focal point? Yeah, so even though my art's like more simple now, more sketchy and stuff, I hope you guys still enjoy what I'm creating and uh, I appreciate you guys for still supporting me and stuff, even if my art is kind of lower quality than it could be, I guess. But um, 
you know, like I've, I've said last week and I'll, I said this week too, I'll say it again right now. I do have plans this year and pretty soon here, I'm going to start working on them for some more finished pieces. Um, and that includes like probably some pen and ink drawings and maybe, uh, definitely watercolor paintings. And I want them to be a little more finished. Uh, so maybe not super hyper realistic, but maybe just a little more less sketchy. Um, you know, based on some reference photos, based on, uh, really photos based on my travels that I did the last few years from Pakistan, Malaysia. I have a lot of interesting figures and portraits and stuff that I'd like to draw that are kind of meaningful to me. Got some animals and stuff too as well. So I do have some ideas and maybe that'll be, those are pieces that maybe I can be a little more finished with for you guys that crave the kind of more finished type of art, I guess. You guys like to create that kind of art and I do too. I mean, I'm, but I'm kind of just trying to do a variety of everything, you know, so to speak. So what you guys see on these streams is kind of just me practicing, you know, it's me keeping up my habit. Um, but eventually, yeah, I'll start working on more finished pieces. Okay, I got to lighten up this chin line that I... His little double chin there. I gotta kind of move it down. 15 seconds. Can we put his eyes in? Am I gonna make it? I think I'm gonna need a little more time because I really like this sketch actually. Uh, it was it was a good five minute start there. Hmm. I can see the chat out the corner of my eye. I know there's a lot of messages going by. I'll try to catch up, folks. I think one of his eyes is like definitely bigger than the other one. I don't know if it's that big of a problem, actually, though. Nah. Gonna draw his arms in here. Man, I really did this one slow. What was I doing? I was drawing really slow. And there was just a lot to, I think there was a lot to capture in this one. <clears throat> I don't know if I quite captured his like fluffiness and stuff. Or his character, but it's okay. Can't win them all, folks.
what to do. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that one, I think. And it looks semi-realistic. I kind of, that's kind of what I'm going for. I kind of like it. I like the... Took me a little longer than I, I wish. Took me about almost 10 minutes. <laughs> that was going to be a different stream. I was going to do 10 minute sketches. But anyway, uh, okay. Uh, do, do, do. It looks like the littlest pet shop character right now. Watching you do a detailed drawing on stream would be cool too if you were interested in doing it anytime. Yeah, I might. I might actually. It's, it's one of my plans to be honest. Uh, I'm curious what pencils do you use in your sketches? I use, I can show you, I have a bunch of them. Normally, I'll use these ones, and these are all the same. Right now, they're all 2B pencils, but they are, um, let's see, here we go. I have a link for them somewhere. I need to post a link to it. Zoom it in. Faber-Castell, Faber-Castell. There you go, 9,000, 2B. Just look up like Faber-Castell 2B. If, you, if you're in the US and you have Amazon, you'll find like, this is, these are the ones that I use. You can find like a 12 pack or a 10 pack of these. And that's what I bought recently. And I really love them actually. Uh, which one was I using? There we go. But I have some other pencils too. I have like some older pencils, Lyra, this is an H. I have like just a bunch and I use this thing sometimes with Faber-Castell uh, 2B graphite as well in there. All right, we'll call that one done for now, I think. I don't want to overdo it or whatever. I don't want to overstay my welcome on this one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the cat looks too human. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right with the eyes or something. I don't know. You're probably right on that. I I don't disagree there. Let me uh let me try to refocus this. I don't disagree, but I I don't agree either. The proportions are superhuman. It's unsettling. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay. We got to write the date here. Got to make sure I date all of them. Just because. Okay. How many more can I fit in here? Wow. We're only one hour into this stream. Really? Dang. I mean, I, I've only done three sketches, I think, though, right? Three or four, so it's not really good timing for uh, five-minute sketches. It's more like a lot of talking. Let's see, what's the next one? Let's try to do something different here. Let's do this one, you know what? Because I haven't done one of these, like, on stream. I actually, I haven't done, like, a sleeping cat on stream, so I'm going to go for it. And it's cute, and this one will be pretty quick, I think. This one will take me roughly about five minutes. So. And I think all the other sketches will take me roughly about five minutes. That's my hope, anyway. Let's see, what's this poll at? I'm going to end the poll, maybe. Dang, half and half. Well, let's wait till, let's see if we can get 100 votes on the poll here. We're at 92 also, if you haven't liked the stream, be sure to like it right now. Hit the like button, please. I'm begging you. I'm absolutely begging. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. All right. Um, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oops. Okay. There we go. Let's draw this donut cat here. I should probably be drawing this horizontally, but I really don't care. See, there's the head. 
There's the neck. From there, swoop around. And we have the Kitty Ouroboros. Okay, should probably focus on its head first. Let's do that. Where do I start here? Maybe down here. Okay, that's a little off. That's all right. We'll just keep going. We'll keep going. I'll fix it later. Let's just try to get something down here. Other ear. Swoosh. Close enough. See, one minute left. Okay. Spent a lot of time on the face. It's my, it's always my struggle. That's my weakness. My weakness is the face, but we already know that. Need more practice. That's okay. We'll get there. Only been one week. It's only been one week of cats. Can't expect to be that good. Well, you can expect it, but you're gonna be disappointed. Pretty much is what I mean. <laughs> Good enough. Well, there we go. End of the timer anyway. Not bad. I like that one. 100 votes. Boom. In the poll. Wow. So we have half, 51, 50. I don't know how it's possible. 
50% perfectionist, 49% not perfectionist. How is that possible with a hundred votes? That's a YouTube math, I guess. Is that the same math they use to count up the views that I get on my videos? Because if so, there's something wrong. I'm just saying. You love outlining with like 8B sometimes? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Like a really dark outline. Yep, yep. Good to hear, Connie. Said, I started drawing again since I started watching your channel. Cool, man. That's... Or woman, I mean, I mean, not man, literally, just cool. That's great. <clears throat> Glad my stuff is motivating. You practice dynamic sketch. I mean, I don't know. You can call it whatever you want. I just, I just practice sketching. <clears throat> the extra three minutes on these make a big difference. Yeah. Well, this one's five minutes, so. I bet if I win another three minutes, I could probably, I don't know if there's any more I want to add to this one, to be honest. The only thing I would really do is kind of fix up the nose part, maybe the ears a bit or something or the face, but I don't know. I kind of like this one. I'd probably make it look like it's, uh, let's see if I can do it. Make it look like it's laying on something cuddly and soft. It's kind of nice. <laughs> I've drawn that a lot when I draw my cat. She's over there sleeping right now. And she has a blanket just like that. So, see you, Brad. Thanks for coming. Greatly appreciated. Hope you have a good one. I might be streaming again tomorrow night since I can't stream on Friday. So I might stream tomorrow night. I don't know. We'll see. Perfect is the enemy of good. Yes, exactly. All right. Let's jump into the next one, folks. Let's just keep going. I'm going to... Boom. Yeah, I really like that one, actually. That's one of my favorite ones tonight, to be honest. This is... uh. Yeah, I think that's my favorite one so far. One of my favorites. This one's a little creepy, but kind of funny. Um, and then these are the... Oh, how many have I done? Wow. Oh, this was the first one I did tonight. That one was pretty rough. So you see, I was a little stiff with how I started it. I was trying to be really direct, but uh, it doesn't work out for these kind of quick sketches. Then this one, completely... Complete 180. I mean, from the first one. So we got one, two, three. That's pretty good too. I like that one. Four, creeper, five. Yeah, this is one of my favorite ones actually, to be honest. Let's do one more. Let's do another one at least. I could probably get a few more. I mean, I'm just going to, if I can, I'm just going to try to do as many as I can, <laughs> to be honest. But I don't know if my, uh, my brain can handle that many, but I'm going to try. It gets tiring, you know, drawing so much. It's a lot of effort, especially when you're trying to do something. It's very stressful, you know, trying to do a sketch in five minutes and trying to finish it. But I kind of like the pressure, you know. I want to do the big fat one. Where is he at? I want to do this one. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it in five minutes. I'm going to try. Don't forget to eat. Yeah, I did eat before the stream. So I'm pretty good on that. I'm a little thirsty, to be honest. But yeah, I'll try to, I'll eat um, after the stream, I'll eat a little something. Thank you, guys. Perfection is the enemy of done. That's true, too. I'll do my best. Keep going. Keep going here. Okay. Oh, my back. Uh, and I've been sitting too much recently. I really need to do some yoga and stuff. 
do some stretching, man. I've been sitting all day for my job, and then I sit all day, all evening. I just sit all day. It's terrible. Okay. I did do some yoga this morning, actually, so that felt good. I need to do that every day, though. Let me uh, make sure my camera is still in focus here. Okay. All right. Sorry, folks. Here we go. What is dynamic sketching? I don't know. I think it, I'm not sure. There's a, there's a name for everything, you know, it's just a sketching dynamically. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know. As opposed, what's the opposite of dynamic? Like stiff or something like what's, if it's not dynamic, it's, it's like not moving. It's not varied. So it's like non-dynamic sketching. I mean, is there anything, and is there any kind of sketching that's not dynamic? You know, I, don't, I guess maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to do like a YouTube or Google search. I guess Peter, Peter Hahn has stuff on it. Someone said, uh, Vin, I, Vinny said, I can't say his name. Sorry. Sorry, bro. I don't want to mispronounce your name. Yes, definitely. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. There, let me do it this way, actually. Three, two, one, go. Boom, here we go. Okay, fat buddy. We got a fat buddy here. I like it, it is cute. I'm trying to section him up here. How do I, how do I section him up here? Maybe his arms and shoulders in a weird way. And then his kind of midsection here. And then his legs. Man, hopefully I can get this, and then we'll get his arm in there somewhere. Hopefully I can finish this one in five minutes. That's my hope. Try to get his eyebrow line in there, the nose, top of the head. Three minutes left. All right, we can do this. We can do this, I think. His mouth. Oh, his other arm. I need his other arm. That's more important than all this other stuff real quick. <laughs> it looks funny how he's holding himself up. This angle is just perfect. Like, whoever took this photograph is like... It's amazing. It's an amazing photo. And whoever's cat this is, please put him on a diet. My gosh. But it's, he's very cute still. But definitely not great for his health. I'll say that. At least.
Okay, boom. I mean, good enough. I'm kind of missing some of the... Not making him as fluffy as he actually is. And it's a little off, that's all I'm saying. But it's not bad. Doing okay. Feeling good about it. Wow, 46 seconds. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to finish this one. That five minutes flew by, guys. Flew by me. It's a lot to add, a lot to put into this one, you know? But yeah, maybe I'll give myself an extra, like, three minutes or something. But I do want to, you know, I do want to keep this one like loose and sketchy. I kind of, I really like it. I like trying to, I like trying to capture his fluffiness. Let's do three minutes. I don't even know if you guys could see the timer. Anyway, start. Boom. There we go. I do like the sketchiness on this one, man. It's really nice. Sorry if you came here for five minutes only, and then now I just changed the rules. Well, sorry, folks. I'm a fraud. I'm a failure. I'm a liar. <laughs> I'm a con artist. How could you? How dare you add another three minutes to this? I'm unsubscribing right now. This is unbelievable behavior. <laughs> uh. I probably don't even need the full three minutes, to be honest. I think I just needed like an extra one or two. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest. This is pretty, quite nice. Even if I ignore his coloring and his markings, I don't know, should we? No, nah, I'm not gonna shade it in. I'm not gonna shade in his markings. We'll just, we'll give him like, you know, we'll give him a little bit of some of the eye markings and stuff, but. Not gonna shade it all in. I like that. I like this one. This one's like really lively, I feel is the right word. That's what I love about these sketches, man. It's just so, so alive. There's so much life in these. It's not, you know, those finished drawings are good too. You know, th there's a place for everything, right? I mean, there's, I really love the finished drawings sometimes. They're definitely good, more detailed and stuff. But there's just something, there's something about sketches like this that you just do in like seven and a half minutes. You know what I mean? It's like, there's just something about it that there's so much life there that it's so hard to capture when you take so much time on something and like really, boom, there we go. I like that. It's just like the looseness of it, the vibrancy of it, the life that all that stuff. Okay. A lot of, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the one. Sorry it was a little longer, five minutes. Hopefully you stuck around still. But uh, let's see, what do you got here? How many years have you dedicated to art and is this your mainstream job? No, I'm a graphic designer for my day job. 
and I just do this all on the side. It's my passion. I've been doing art seriously since like 2010, maybe, is when I seriously got into it, like during college. I found a love for like painting, and then that's when I started really pursuing things a little bit more seriously, rather than just, you know, doing it as like a hobby or whatever. Okay, good enough. More marks, more is not better. Less is more. See, more is better and less is more. So less equals better. Welcome to math class. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm glad you guys find it entertaining still. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Please hit the like if you haven't so far. Please hit the like button. Greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this one. I like how this came out. Um, yeah, luckily. Luckily it came out pretty well. I've been building up. If you guys have been here the whole time, I've been waiting to do this one. This is my sixth one, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's, let's go for number seven. Oh, man. The drawing needs a diet. <laughs> Yeah, need something. What's going on, Brent? Thanks for tuning in, man. Long time fan of the channel, bro. Glad to see you still around. Thanks for the support over the years, for watching and commenting and everything. Greatly appreciated. What do we do next? Here we go. I'm going to get rid of the ones that I've already done. I'm going to close them. Close. I did do this one first, but it wasn't that good. Should I try to? No, nah, we'll just skip it. Eh, not going to do it. Okay. Already did that one, did that one. Let's see, we did that one. What's next here, folks? Number seven. This might be the last one. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. That could be kind of cool. I haven't done one from the side yet today, huh? Like showing all four legs. I don't think I've done. Maybe this one. Let's try this one. I'll show you guys a little bit bigger. Sorry for anyone that's on like mobile and you can't really see, see it, but uh, yeah, I think that's good. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay. I think I'm going to do this. Definitely going to do this one horizontally. Definitely got to turn the page for this one. Um, I think I can fit my whole sketchbook on there. The problem is I can't see the timer. Boom. Perfect. So many things to show, you know? Got to show the reference photo and my sketchbook and the timer and me and everything. Okay. Woo. Here we go, folks. Three, two, one, go. Okay. I got to make sure I don't draw too big because I want to fit him. I want to fit his whole tail in there. Going to try. So we have this. Body. Back leg. And then the tail. Perfect, I think. Well, okay, I don't want to, not literally perfect, but good enough is what I mean. <laughs> perfect equals good enough. A little snout there. Let's draw the arms before I forget those. 
pause. Did I just make him too tall? Probably. That's okay. We'll be a taller cat. Is this a main coon? I think this is a main coon cat. But I'm I'm drawing a tall one here. Oh, dude, what am I doing? Might have to shorten him. Okay, let's shorten him. It's throwing everything off. I really try not to erase on these, but sometimes, sometimes you gotta erase, you know? Sometimes you just gotta erase, even though I don't like to. It's a necessary evil and help. It's necessary help. Boom. Come on. We can do this. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> I can do it. It just has such big paws, man. Okay, good enough. Good enough for now. So the neck comes down, we got a shoulder bone there connecting with the arm. This comes down and then this. And a minute 35. Okay. Got to got to get going here on the head. Just trying to show some of the furriness here. Thirty nine seconds remaining. I don't know if it exactly looks like a cat. I don't know. Maybe the eye. I think it's some, something weird with the chin shape or something, but uh, or the head shape. No. Okay. I mean. Not bad. Lord Engine, what's happening? Yeah, back on the time drawings, you know, just for fun. Just for fun tonight. Something a little stress-free, stressful, stress-free at the same time. But I'm, I'm kind of not as strictly applying it. You know, if I need a little more time, I'll... I'll fix it up a little bit, but I mean, I guess this one's okay for, um, for now, for what it is.
Yeah. Hmm. It looks like a cat, I think. It's hard to tell because I've been looking at it the whole time. You guys have a fresh, you, always, you guys always have a fresh perspective. And for me, I, I don't exactly. And I think his snout's like too short or something, like too. I don't know. Have you ever considered taking drawing requests on stream? Uh, I have considered that, but I'm not, I don't think, I, I'm not confident. <laughs> I'm not confident in doing that, to be honest. Like, you mean just drawing off the top of my head? Like, whatever people say? I mean, one day I'll probably get there, and I have thought about doing that, but I don't think I'm quite there yet. Bro, what is up with his head? What am I doing wrong here? It looks like a dog. Are his ears too high? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think part of it's the ears, and then part of it's the... I think the ears need to sit lower on the head. I hate to erase it, too, because it was such a good... loose sketch that I had, but... If it's not working out, then I got to change something, you know? And this one's harder because the, even the photo I'm looking at, it's, it's quite pixelated, so... I can't really see the detail and stuff. And I'm trying to just draw it very simply. But it's like when I do, it just doesn't look right. I'm miss I'm I'm missing like a small I can't really see what's happening. I can't see what's happening here, this kind of transition in the mouth and everything. I can't really It just looks like a weird fantasy animal. It like doesn't look real. And maybe it's because it's missing the markings and stuff. Like the, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just have to move on. It can't all be great, you know? Always got to keep that in mind. They're not all going to be great. I can try, but, you know, with limited time like this, it's just a sketch and it's, they can't all be great. Yeah, I do that with my kneaded eraser here. You go like this and then they erase a small point. I do that all the time. Just to touch stuff up or erase a small thing, but... Yeah, it's good enough. Good enough. Yeah, exactly, Lord Engine. I can draw what you guys want if you want a bad drawing. I mean, I'm already doing it anyway. I'm already doing bad drawings, even drawing what I actually want to draw. But it would be like a cool challenge maybe to like see what can I just draw? Like, can I draw? Because I, I was surprised the other day, like drawing from memory and like drawing a cat, like with no reference, like trying to draw a cat's portrait and stuff after practicing it a bit and I was like, wow, I can actually like, it's better than I thought it would be really. I mean, I was like surprising myself. It's like, okay, maybe I'm better than I think. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like super human level or like super pro level at drawing anything. You know, I, I've been using references like forever. So Have you tried zebra brush pens that are great or sketching with just ink? No, I haven't. Haven't even really heard of those. Let me see. Zebra. You said brush pens? 
Zebra brush pens. I think I have some similar to this though. The brush pens I have, I really love actually. So I, I don't know. Um, but I'll check these out. I got a link here on Amazon I'm looking at. So I'll look at those later. Uh, and soon I want to do, I want to do an ink only live stream eventually. I'll do like, so no pencil at all, like ink only, you know, I got some cool, I got a couple these are the ones I use. I use these Pigma and there's three different sizes. This is a, show you, this is a fine one. So we got like a fine one. This is a medium size, kind of like a normal brush pen. And then the one I like to use a lot is the, I don't know what that is. It's a big buddy, you know? I like to use the big buddy, there we go. I like to use this one a lot because you can get really thin lines and you can get thicker. It's fun to shade and fill in with that. So these are the ones I like to use. I have like two other ones. I can't remember which, what they're called. They're down in the my pin box with a ton of pins right now. But I have some other ones that are really good too. They're kind of more uh, fine point. Similar to what you showed me, the uh, <clears throat> like the uh, zebra ones. Yeah, I have. It's in my pin thing. Let me see. My my pin box here. Look at my pin box here. A giant pin box full of all kinds of pins. Got a ton of these fine liners, but yeah, here we go. Here we go. Tombo. That's what it is. Tombo. Oh, let me uh, focus that. Tombo. Fudenosuke. Fudenosuke. Something like that. So this one's like more of a fine point you can see there. But I have two of these. One of them is like a firm. And then one of them's like, uh, this one is, let me see. This is water-based pigment, the hard tip. And then I have one that's like a, um, wherever it is in here. I'll never find it. I'll never find it. It's, it's lost forever. Here we go. This one, it's a slightly different color, but same thing. This one's a soft tip. So I've used these in the past, but they're... More like finer point, really nice. But I don't use them as much anymore, to be honest. But yeah, these are cool too. But I'll, I'll check out the uh, zebra ones. Yeah, obviously, I like buying a lot of different pens and stuff. You know, I buy all kind of jelly rolls, and I got all kinds of stuff. Um, all different size liners: O one, O five, O three, O eight. 005 I and mean, I got a ton of stuff. But, uh, so yeah, I'll check I'll check those out though for sure. I'm open to it. I'm just showing you what I'm familiar with. See if it's like similar to what you similar to what you suggest or what you're familiar with. So all right, let's do another one. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Let's get rid of this one. Oh man, my lower back is starting to hurt. Got one laying down there. Okay, interesting. I could just try a face. That would be different. Or we could do a cat butt. <laughs> that one's kind of cool, but it's really small. It's kind of pixelated. It'd be very basic. I don't know how good it would look. Um, that one's kind of nice. You know what? Let's try a face real quick. Let's see what I can do if I try a five minute cap portrait. Let's see. Boom. Okay. Boom. Here we go, folks. Um, Great Eagle says that one, the fat one, and the sleeping cat are the best sketches by far. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. 
Yeah, I kind of, I probably agree. Probably agree. This one's pretty good. It actually came out really well, surprisingly. The fat one, and then you said the sleeping one. Yeah, I agree. I also like this one just personally. Just the looseness of it and stuff. Carefree nature of it. Anyway, okay. Here we go. We're going to do a cat portrait. I'll show you guys close up. There's a close up of the reference photo. There we go. Here we go. I'll try my best. Three, two, one, go. It's going to be difficult. Okay. Oh, it's hard. It's hard not to get too detailed. Okay. Let's keep it sketchy. Because I don't even know what I'm doing yet or if it's good at all. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. Always supporting the channel. Really appreciate you guys for uh, sticking around when you can and uh, just hanging out, man. It's really a lot of fun. If you guys want to share your art or post more, uh, check out my Discord. It's in the um, it's in the description below, description link. I kind of post in there. I try to post like once a day in there. And we got a lot of people posting in there, keeping it active and chatting and stuff. It's really cool, man. It's cool to see what everyone's like creating. And, uh, yeah, I want to do more with it eventually, but, uh, it's kind of just getting started now. So yeah, if you want to go hang out on discord and stuff and just chat a couple times a week or whatever, you know, Okay, I see the problem. See the problem. And you can post, you can get critiques in there. I'm a little behind on the critiques, to be honest, because it takes so much. Uh, I usually write a lot out for a critique. So I apologize if anyone posted a critique in there and I haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, I will get to it. It's just I've been really busy. I've had a lot of stuff going on, uh, you know, with just managing these streams and my day job and trying to manage everything. It's it's I'm I'm trying to adapt to doing a lot of stuff now. So it's just taking me a while to get on track, you know, but, um, yeah, please be patient. I will eventually get to your critique. Just please be patient. I appreciate it. It's my eraser. Okay. The nose, it's the nose. I know it. The nose nose. Okay. Uh,
It's always nice when I can see the issue and I can potentially fix it and make things better. I mean, not bad. Not bad for five minutes, I think. I've never tried doing this before, so yeah, not bad, I think. For what it's worth, for what it is, for what it happened. <laughs> What am I saying? I don't know. I didn't really get to describe the texture or anything much. And it's a little sketchy. It's a little messy. But, uh, yeah, I need to practice these more. I need to do a lot of these kinds of uh, cat portraits like this. It's something I really struggle with, if I'm being honest. I'll get there, though. I'll get there. Just wait like two or three months from now, and I'm still drawing cats, and you guys are still here watching me draw cats. I'm sure I'll draw some other stuff. In the meantime, I'll draw some owls and humans and stuff, but cats are going to be one of the main things, and I'm going to get good at this. I believe it. Just you wait and see. And the whiskers always bring it together, so. Okay. Let's see if I can get one more. Should have been a little cleaner with these lines, but it's all right. See you, Matthias. Thanks for tuning in. No problem. Thanks everyone for liking the stream. And um, <laughs> that's true, Lord Engine. That's really funny. When you say, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they're, it's like they, maybe they saw it once in like in the wild and like they can't, they're just going off of what they, they have no, they have no carcass of it. They have no, uh, reference for it. So they're just like, you know, I think it was like this and then it ends up looking quite bad. Yeah. Quite interesting. Oh yeah. Let me state this one. All right. It's getting close to the end. I think we'll do one more. I think this will be the last one folks. And then I'm going to play some, you know, a couple rounds of geo guess here like always, and uh, call it a night. Okay, what's the last one to do here? Do we do the we do the, the cat butt here with the tail, with the foreshortening? Which one do we do, folks? I think maybe this one. Or, okay, I think definitely not that one because I just can't see enough of it. Um... That one's good, but mm, that one's pretty good too. Mm, I already did a fluffy one like this. I think we'll skip that one. Uh, skip that one. Mm, skip that one. So we're down to these three. I'm narrowing it down. Here we go. Um, I should do more acrylic videos. Dude, I haven't... Here's the funny thing about that, T. Merck. Um, I haven't done acrylic since 2015, and I doubt I'm going to do any more, um, unfortunately. So I apologize for that, but I'm sure there's plenty of other great acrylic artist channels out there. Thank you, Braille. I appreciate it. Yes, I... You know, I think... Okay, I have a confession to make, guys, for everyone who's still here. And uh, I never knew this until, like, recently, but 
I, I think I struggle from imposter syndrome. And I think it comes from childhood or from somewhere. It's kind of personal. But, um, yeah, this feeling of like not being good enough. I, I really struggle with that and I've struggled with it my whole life. And, uh, yeah, I always feel like, you know what, I could do better. And I, and sometimes, you know, it's so easy when you go on social media and you see other artists and other people who draw, you can go on YouTube right now and there's plenty of, there's like, there's at least a hundred other artists who draw way better than me, you know? So it's like that only adds to my kind of feelings of inadequacy or whatever you want to call it. I think we'll do this, buddy, to be honest. I, I kind of like this one. I like the fluffiness. I like the stance. It's kind of difficult. Let's try it. I think I'll turn my, I'll do horizontal. We'll finish this one off strong. Finish off strong here this evening. Sorry, folks, just trying to get situated here. Okay. Oh, glad to hear that, Space Telegrams. Every artist does without exception. Yeah, I think so. I think so for the most part. I don't know if every artist does because, you know, you got those artists that are like more... There's some artists that are probably like more extroverted, more outgoing, more people person. Maybe they do like abstract art. They're, they can sell their art very easily. They talk, you know... There's artists like that that maybe they don't feel that as much. I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe I'm off on that. Anyway. Um, thank you, Poker Face. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I always feel like I could do better. But uh, I think sometimes I take it a little too far. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. I think sometimes I probably take it a little too far. You know, I'm because I, I have this idea in my mind of like, it's funny, like you guys will see one thing like, like, what do you mean your art's really good and all this stuff? And then, but for me in my own mind, I had a goal. My goal was like different than what you guys are seeing it as, you know, <laughs> like, so there's, it's part of that too, you know, like we have different kind of, uh, like you guys are seeing it from your perspective, obviously, like with the goals that you have with your, your art, but then my goals might be different or something or my expectations or whatever you want to call it. Okay, this one's going to be quite sketchy, but that's fine. It's fun. Try to keep it loose. I just want to have fun, you know? Just want to have fun with what I'm doing here. Oh, interesting. So I probably made that too big. Did I? Yeah, it's definitely too big. It looked nice, but too big. I need to figure out where the paws go first. So. Paw here. Paw here, and then... Trying to focus here. Got this last five minute sketch. Last sketch of the night, folks. Trying to make it a good one.
Okay. I haven't even done the head yet. I got two minutes left. <laughs> I haven't even got to the head. Okay. At least it's good to recognize that. Okay, another ear, boom, looking good, looking really good, I think. Now I got one minute to get the eyes and the face right. This is where I always mess up. But I'm going to try to do the best I can. Hard to tell. Oh, no, 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 let's fix that angle and then Four seconds. All right, we're going to go a little more than five minutes. <laughs> we're going to do five minutes and two minutes, seven minutes. Let's try it. Just to finish this up right here. If I can do it in six minutes, that'd be even better. Cool markings. Okay. Thanks everybody for sticking around and uh, enjoying the stream and everything, man. Really appreciate you guys. Everybody hanging out, man. Okay. Almost done here. Just want to finish up some of the other parts a little bit more. the tail. Really nice. Almost looks like a wolf or something. <clears throat> Well, maybe not the best cat ever, but you know what? Done is better than the best, better than perfect. And I'm a fan of done and good, and I'm a fan of fun, you know? And this was a lot of fun. Drawing all these tonight, this was a lot of fun. Boom. 
I think his legs may, I don't know. Maybe he's a little tall. I don't know. Something's weird, but it's okay. He'll be okay. Got to have the eyeliner. Boom. There we go. Okay. Shade this leg back here. Make it go into the background a bit. Boom, there we go. Good enough. Uh, wow, a lot of people commenting. Okay, uh, let me try to get through all these. Do more acrylic videos. Doo -doo -doo. See you, Susan. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sharing your creativity in Zen. No problem. Greatly appreciated. Uh, artists who don't have Empire Syndrome are likely psychopaths. <laughs> uh, space Telegram, that's funny, bro. <laughs> oh man <clears throat> I was hoping you would choose this picture to sketch well there we go I did it kind of as best I could in the time that I had I see one little part here we go just this bum there okay okay good enough call it done call it done let's call it done can't do it okay um, do, 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 yes, love it. Uh, they're looking great. I was late, but your stream's always chill, which I appreciate. Thanks, Lord Engine. Uh, trying to understand Discord. Do you have, do you have special name? Uh, you just have like a username. You can create your own username. Um, but there's a link to it in the description. You just click the link and it'll like tell you to sign up and join. But you just create like a username for yourself. You can make it Cubs win. And then you could just, you know, whatever. It's like, it's like signing up to a, it's like a forum, basically. It's like a forum as a, as an application, basically, is what it is. Um, it's like a Schaefer art forum, basically, if you know what a forum is. Uh, yeah, it almost looks like a coyote, yeah. And I think like its legs have like this like weird, with its tail and stuff. It's just a different kind of cat. It's interesting. Uh, it looks kind of like a bobcat. Yeah, that's true. I think it's like a Maine Coon or something, possibly. Dan Thomas says, I remember back when you had that long hair. Cheers from Tucson, Arizona. Wow, long time, viewer. That was a long time ago, man. 2013, 2014. I cut it off in early 2014. Anyway, let us uh, let me date this one real quick. You guys want to see all the sketches from tonight? Just a quick flip through. I'll show you guys here. What do you perf what do you prefer to draw on big or small paper? I like smaller stuff, at least now, nowadays. I just like small sketchbooks like this, to be honest. Okay, here was my first one. <laughs> I'm gonna date this one too. This is awful, man. Look at this first one for today. Wow, I've come, I came a long way tonight. Yeah, I like smaller, to be honest. I feel like eight and a half by 11 or nine by 12, that's like as big as I wanna go for stuff nowadays. Just nowadays, cause I'm more minimalist. So that was my first one. And then I had these two. This was my second one. That's my one of my favorites for tonight, actually. I just love the rhythm. I love the sketchiness you can see underneath. Uh, yeah, that one's like, boom, that's what I would, I like. This one came out really well. Number three. Number four, it's kind of creepy with the eyes, but it came out pretty well, actually. I like this one, too. Really good. Number, what was this? One, two, three, four, five. This is number five. Two, three, four, five. Number five, one of my favorites for tonight, definitely. Uh, number six, really good. I like that one. He's a little hairy. He's a little furry, but he was quite furry. Number seven, pretty good. Number eight, portrait, really nice. And number nine, I think I got a lot of good drawings tonight, actually. 
these are really i'm actually kind of proud of the quality of these there's only like i mean what's the worst one was the first one first is the worst today and then the rest i mean i mean these are pretty dang good i think i would post all these on my youtube i think i'm gonna chop up this live stream and these are going to become future videos so there we go folks i'm pretty happy with that here's a sketchbook that i use if you guys are curious five and a half by eight and a half 90 pound cream drawing canson there you go that's what i like um number four is your favorite uh do, do, do. Wow, everybody likes number four. Let me see. Uh, let me see what number four is. What was number four? Two, three. Everybody likes. Everybody likes this one. This is number. You guys like this one? Really? That's hilarious. One, two, three, four. Yeah, cool. I mean, it is really nice. I like some of the line work and stuff. But his eyes are just. Oof. <laughs> he's like. He's like. Uh, Staring into your soul with that and capturing your soul. Yeah, this one's one of my, I think that might be my favorite tonight. Anyway, I'm going to play some GeoGuessr for a bit. If you get whoever, uh, you know, you guys can stick around if you want. If not, no problem. We're just going to hang out and play a little, little game for a little while. Not too long, maybe 15 minutes. Just going to hang out and uh, do my thing here like I normally do. Uh, boom. Just let me set this up here. Give me one second. Make this large. Boom. Full screen. And there we go. The sleeping cat and the fat cat. Yeah, me too. I agree. Cubs win. Those are really great ones. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, man, I'm surprised I got so many good ones tonight. I'm happy because that gives me future videos now. I can edit. Ooh, and I got some good practice in. So, when in doubt, it's Zimbabwe. Well, it might be. Let's see, Ireland to Portugal. Let's do this one real quick. Ireland to Portugal. What are, do they do? United Kingdom? Yeah, I guess it'd be United Kingdom. Yep, UK. How do you connect UK? What is connected to the UK? See you, Great Eagle. Eagle. No worries, Great Eagle. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Good chatting with you. And with everyone, of course. How do you connect to the... I mean, is it France or something? Spain? I mean, okay, Spain. France. They say France is connected to the UK? Okay. I don't know how that is, but that was easy. Only three things and I won. Okay. We'll do the next hardest one. So now we have to figure out what city in the world is this, just based on this satellite photograph. Republic of Ireland. You can jump over water. Yeah, I guess so, man. You can just jump right over. But I guess it's like whatever country is closest like, theoretically, uh, is this like, let me see, what country is this? Does anyone know this? Looks like some kind of fortress, but then like, it looks like Europe, although it could be like Russia, maybe, I don't know, I'm going to say... Bucharest, because I have no idea. We'll just see. 829 miles east of Bucharest. 829 miles east. Is that like Italy or is that of Romania? So 829 miles east of Romania. I have no idea, dude. Rome. Okay, 297 miles north. Oh, Milan. 
Alhambra Palace. It might be, you might be right. Let me guess. Oh no, it was Milan. Right there. Right there, Milan. Okay. I don't know what that is. I don't know what building it is, but... Okay, now we're going to play GeoGuessr. I'm going to do the daily challenge. I forgot to do that the other day on here. I missed a day. That's okay, though. No worries. <laughs> Bosnia. Okay, we are in Cambodia or... No, no, no. This is Sri Lanka or India. Right? No, no. Or is that Cambodia? No, no, no. This is... What language is that? Let's look on the map here. It was like a big curly, curly Q language. Is that Indian or was it... Or Tamil? Tamil or was it Cambodia? No, it wasn't Cambodia. I think, I think it might be... <laughs> I'm going to go Sri Lanka. Oh, you think it was Thai? See, I think it's this script, though. I don't know. I thought it was Thai, too, for a second. Is it Thai? You might be right, dude. You're make, making me second guess here. I think it's this. Is it this? Or is it Thailand? I don't think it's Thailand. I don't think so. I don't know, dude. I'm just going to go there. I think it's Sri Lanka, but oh my God, look at that. It was Sri Lanka. Why don't I just go with my gut? I should have. I knew in my gut. I thought, okay, Sri Lanka. And then boom, it's not, or it was, but then I, I pick India because I just thought, okay, India. Okay. This is America. We're just going to have to guess here based on the foliage or something. Let's see. Not really Southern. There are some pine trees, but they don't look, it doesn't look that Southern. And we're in the middle of nowhere. I can't even go anywhere to figure out where this is. This is more... Like up here, maybe, or up here, Midwest, somewhere, possibly. Let's try it. Let's travel a bit. Oh, we got, we got pine trees. Okay, this is like the south, maybe. But we have like northern trees, too. Ah. Okay, I'm de definitely thinking... Kentucky? Okay, yeah. Maybe Kentucky. Yeah, definitely not CA, I don't think. Yeah, I don't really know what Kentucky looks like, but it looks like it's somewhere in it. Let's just go there. Okay, it was up here, Illinois. Way up there. Kind of where I originally clicked, man. Dang, I was close. Looks like Wisconsin. Yeah, you're right, dude. I've never been to Wisconsin. I've never, there's only like 10 states I haven't been to, like Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, all like the northern states, northeast, haven't really been to. Okay, my gut says this is Norway. So I'm just going to go straight away. Norway. Oh my God, way up there. How is it that far north? Man, that's insane. Okay, this, it's like Finland or Russia. I'm getting like Russian Finland vibes here. With these birch trees, the dirt road, middle of nowhere. I'm thinking that's the only thing I can really go off of because I'm not a pro. I'm going to... I'm going to go, I'll just go Finland because I'm not sure. I think it's Russia though. Okay. It was Estonia. Not bad. Not bad. 
Here we go. We're driving on the right. Yellow license plates, front and back yellow license plates. That is the Netherlands. This is definitely... Oh no, this is Israel. Haha, <laughs> good thing I looked around. Because I was like, Netherlands, they drive on the left, I'm pretty sure. They don't drive on the right. This is Israel. There's Hebrew right there. Yellow license plates are also in, in Israel. I forgot about that. Let's just go near Jerusalem. Tel Aviv, okay. Dang, not bad. 18,000. Dude, all right. Usually I get uh, way worse. Okay, something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to battle somebody. I might lose this. But let's try. Oh my gosh, they're much higher rank than me. 648 to 558. Okay. think I need to see this language. I'm sure they're going to know it right away. It's Bangladesh. I think, I think it's Bangladesh. I know they know it. I don't know why they're acting like they don't know it. They're trying to get like as close as they possibly can, but I know they know it's Bangladesh. I think. We'll see. We'll see here. We'll see here. Yeah, of course he knows Bangladesh. He beat me up by a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> uh oh. Cool area. Okay, this is Corner Lofts. Jerusalem number two, this isn't Jerusalem, this is like South Africa. I think this is, I'm not 100% sure though. Driving on the left, I'm just gonna go for it. I think it's like Cape Town maybe. It could be Johannesburg. Maybe it could be Pretoria. Yeah, I don't know. It is a little mountainous. Is there an ocean nearby? Yeah, I think I misguessed here. I think I might have misguessed. Yeah. Dang it. Dang it, dude. What to do? What to do? Okay. I'm not out of it, though. We're not done yet. He hasn't kicked me out yet. Right away, I'm gonna go forward. We're gonna look at this sign, see where we are. What the heck, is this South America? License plates, yeah, South America somewhere. Is this Brazil, Valenciano? Valenciano, B O C S E B A. I don't know what that means. Salida 19. No, man, this could be anywhere. Do they drive on the right in Brazil? I can't remember. Let's look at these poles. Huh. Doesn't really look like Brazil to me. I'm going to go up here. I don't know. I don't know, folks. We're going to see. Let's see what he's got. We got 10 seconds. See what he picks. He's probably going to whoop me. He's already beaten me twice, two rounds in a row, so... Oh, Puerto Rico, and I beat him. So eventually the rounds get harder and harder because it ends up being like two times damage. So eventually it gets like triple damage. So eventually one of us is going to kick the other person out. This looks like... Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I thought it might have been Portuguese, but... That's why I was thinking Brazil, but it was Puerto Rico. I don't know what flag that is. I don't think that's a country flag. Where does this look like? What am I thinking here? France? I guess it is. 
I wouldn't have guessed France. Is that French? Chemin des... Or is that Spanish and I just don't know it? D-E-S, that's Spanish, right? That's not French. Poland? It's Polish? Maybe it is. I have no idea. The architecture's throwing me off here. I'm like, I'm like lost here. Oh, he already guessed. Okay. Los Lesquins. What the heck? Belgium, Poland, French. Oh, I don't know. We'll just... Oh, no wonder. It's like Switzerland. It's one of those weird areas right next to France. <laughs> he's not that good, though, actually. He's not that accurate. I thought he would be much better. He's he's not a guess. I thought he would be, like, right on top of some of these guesses, but he even guessed, like, the wrong country. So I have a chance here of winning still. Okay, where is this? Driving on the right. What does that say? Oh, dang. How does he already know? He must have seen something. I'm going to get kicked out right here. Dang, dude. I just got to go for it. Oh! Oh, it's Monaco. I would have I lost anyway. Damn it. That's how he knew. Yeah, that's definitely Monaco. Oh. Damn it, dude. All right, let's play one more time. Let me try again. Hopefully I can get somebody else. Oh, look, we get somebody lower than me. Dang it. That's my problem is I don't like moving around a lot. I don't like, I like to just try to look around and get the vibe and guess, but it doesn't, it doesn't do good in these types of, okay, we're in Europe. Looks like Northern-ish. Definitely Eastern, maybe. Definitely Northern. Looks cold. We got birch trees. We got a flag here. What is this flag? What? What flag is that? It looks like Thailand or something. It's definitely not Thai. <laughs> I'm going to go up here. I don't know. I don't know exactly. It's very mountainous though. Oh, it's, is it Norway? Is that a Norway flag? It doesn't look, man, I don't know, dude. Oh, he was way off. Oh my gosh. It was Norway. Dang, I, I had a feeling it might be Norway. Have a good one, Poker Face. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Greatly appreciated. Dang, I thought it might have been Norway, but it didn't look like the, like, I registered that might be the Norway flag, but it doesn't look like the Nor Norish, Norlandian flag. It doesn't look like the Norwegian flag. Let's see, where are we, man? Europe, again, what does this sign say? Can't read it. Are we like, is this like Cyrillic? Oh, this is a Greece, or is this Greece? It looks Grecian, I'm going for it. Probably off, I don't know. I just, it looks Greece maybe. Looks Greek. Dude, this guy, okay, it was Kyrgyzstan. That's what I was, I was thinking, okay, maybe we're not, we're like in Mongolia or Kyrgyzstan or something, that's what I was thinking, but of course I was wrong. I picked something stupid. Okay, definitely like German, German, uh, Belgium, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, See if we can get something here. Landau. I don't know where that is. But I feel it's more mountainous though. I think we're like down here maybe. 
I feel like I heard of that place. I just don't know where it is. Yeah, that was definitely Cyrillic <laughs> on the last round. I just couldn't read it. It was too pixelated. And the, the camera quality should have gave it away that it was... Um, I'm just going to go here. I don't know, dude. It's probably Switzerland. Yeah, probably it's pro probably Switzerland for sure. Oh, dang. Germany. All right, I was pretty close. I was closer than this dude. All right, we're beating him. We're beating him. We're doing it. And then I got to get off here. I got to eat some dinner and stuff. But thank you guys for hanging out. It's pretty fun. Okay, we got dots on the side of the road. This could be Norway. This could be Sweden. I mean, take a look at this sign. This will probably tell me. At least give me some idea here. Oh, come on. It's like FG something. It's probably like Swedish. Or Nor Norwegian. Yeah, it looks, I think it's Norwegian. I just don't know where it would be anyway. Maybe it's Finnish. It's one of these. I can't remember which language has the, uh, I don't know, man. I'm just going to go Sweden. I'm going to go in the middle of the, all three of them. Forget it, man. Forget it. We'll go in the, we'll go in the middle. Hopefully I can just win this. Oh, there we go. He picked South America. You gotta be kidding me. If you think that's South America, dude. Okay. I win. Ooh, that was easy. I didn't know it was going to be that easy, man. Jeez. Am I that much of a noob? All right, well, that was that was cool, folks. I got to get off here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the sketching and the GeoGuessr and stuff. <laughs> uh, I ended up sketching longer than I thought. I would have played a little more GeoGuessr, but, um, you know, I got to get going. Thank you guys for hanging out, sticking around. I'll see you guys on the next one. I think I might be streaming tomorrow. I, I would normally stream on a Friday, but my internet, Comcast, they are cutting off my internet all day on Friday and they're like updating something with my apartment complex. So I might stream tomorrow uh, if I feel like it, we'll see. So if I do feel like it, I'll see you guys tomorrow again. So thanks for tuning in. Peace folks.